pain, so I'm back. So I took a shower. Um, damn, it's like more and more humans think they have the godlike authority to determine what I should deserve in life and what I shouldn't deserve, you know. So it's like. Everything is just so mentally warping that um, all these people who verbally claim to be positive, but they're spewing out negativity and abuse themselves, you know. <clears throat> um, I, I don't know. I, I, I mean, I can't believe that you know, that DJ person posing as somebody else and he calls himself Golden Eye 6 And that person never ever commented on my YouTube channel ever before, ever. Not on, or maybe he must have another channel, but, <clears throat> you know. So, again, if you have a problem with me, why are you watching my videos? Anybody. Why are you still watching my videos? But... If you keep watching the videos of the per of a person you can't stand, or if you keep following somebody on social media who you can't stand, then it's you with the damn mental problem or that's mentally unstable. You know? So, um... Wow, right after I started this video. Right after I started this video... So, you, you know, I've seen people who try to claim that I'm mentally unstable and crazy, but they do stuff like follow and, I mean, they subscribe and keep repeatedly subscribing and unsubscribing from my channel several times a day. Who the hell has that time to waste their time, I mean, waste their time and energy on you like that, <clears throat> you know, and then... More than one person try to call me a fake targeted individual and try to call me crazy and trying to falsely accuse me of just misusing people. And you know what? I am not going to compromise. And I refuse to accept the so-called advice or offers of abusive people. If you're abusive, don't get mad at me for not listening to your so-called advice. That's nothing but control anyway. <clears throat> you, you, you know... So, I looked up online that um, Golden, Golden Eagle 006, and it has something to do with the James Bond movie, and it was associated with um, 2000, I mean, the year 1995. And then I went to that person's profile um, <clears throat> and, and it said, calls himself The Watcher, you know. So... And then you have nerve to have a damn picture of Tupac on, on your uh av on your YouTube avatar. Like tu Tupac, if Tupac is the person, um, people say Tupac was heavily targeted, you know. So you you know you've proven yourself to be an occultist and new ager. And claim you're spiritual but not Christian. I don't want to associate with you, you know. So, <clears throat> this DJ person, Golden Eye 006, trying to lie and say that that somebody else was from Wisconsin. That was you, <clears throat> you know. So, and you talk exactly like the same abusive person that that was on my phone. You have no right or authority to have my phone number. So. Um, don't get mad at me for block, you know, blocking you. I'm more mad at you than anybody else because <clears throat> you freaking 30 years old and calling me childish and treat, act like you think you have more sense than me. Like if you really targeted, you know, why are you condemning me for calling gang stalkers names when they do way worse than name calling? So why are you defending the gang stalkers and then turn around and call, talk about that I'm losing my credibility 
as a targeted individual and trying to say enough people. I mean, you're just psychologically and mentally ver- and verbally abusing me, abusing me, and that's not mature at all. While you're sitting there calling me childish, and you calling me childish and, and immature while you being verbally and psychologically and mentally a- abusive and coercively controlling because I turned down your offer and um, you know, I I turned down your offer and me coming to live with you in Wisconsin. You know, I lived in Wisconsin before, and I fucking hate it, and I have a right to feel that way. You know, more than one person who claimed to be targeted talk about you're going to have to compromise. I don't have to compromise shit. You know, if living in Pensacola makes me happy, then that's my freaking right to live here. You know, it's not all that expensive, expensive to live here. You know... And then he tried to say, oh, stop calling everybody a perp. Um, well, you damn sure are. You're a narcissistic, and a narcissistic abuser and a perp, your damn self. And then you say, oh, not everybody's a narcissist. Yes, you, you are, you know. So, I mean, <clears throat> it only takes a narcissist or a perp in which they have similar ways trying to co- coercively control you. And they think they have their so-called self profess prescription for your life while they're damning your soul to hell. I don't have to listen to or take advice or suggestions from, from anybody except God, you know, or any other Christian friends who really want to see me better myself rather than people who trying to kick me down. And, you know, I don't know why he's that bitter. I mean, you want me to, you want to send for me to come to Wisconsin so you can rape me every day like what the fuck why are you so mad at me for refusing your damn offer you know unless you appropriate yourself and you don't have any proof of being a being a real target and I, you know people will call me a fool for taking your so blindly taking your advice at face value you know I've explained my if you've been watching if any of y'all been watching all my videos several times if y'all claim y'all been watching my videos for many months, you would know what my struggles are and what I'm going through, you know, and you would know what I attempted to do, whether you falsely accusing and lying on me, falsely accusing me of never trying to do anything to get, you think, I, and then they, more than one person try to say, all you do is whine and complain all day and never try to get out of your situation. Yeah, narcissistic abusers and perps in person have told me the same thing. And DJ, how the hell am I supposed to take you seriously when you're a fake targeted individual? You're f- and then look on the phone with him. I try to ask, him, well, what is your real name? If you just keep, you just, you want me to come all the way to Wisconsin, but you refuse to tell me what your real name is, and you just saying, oh, my name is DJ. And then you talking about if you keep going the route you're going, everybody gonna realize you're a fake targeted individual, and nobody, people really not gonna help you out. Yeah. You can, y'all can go and see on, on the other, um, videos, you you know, I, I refuse to take psychological and mental and verbal abuse targeted or not that Frank Brown guy, I blocked his phone number and blocked him on YouTube because I refuse to take, and you're supposed to be a black man being so harsh and abusive towards a black female, you know, so Frank Brown I blocked him for saying, yeah, he'll call me and be like, yeah, stop acting like a little punk. And you're like the same people who want to tell me, ignore, ignore, ignore. And then they want to tell me, oh, stop acting like a little punk and stand up and fight. And I'm trying as best as I can to battle and fight. And and it's like when I research about targeting and gang stalking, oh, stop researching that and focus on God. But then you want to get mad at me for being ignorant of their of their tactics, you know, <clears throat> of the gang stalking tactics. Are you t- trying to make like I can't be real? And I've showed enough evidence and proof on my videos and my Instagram, my YouTube videos, my Instagram, my blog, even on Twitter that I'm truly gang stalked. So, and I mean, even on my Facebook too. So it's like. 
all these people who act like they think they have the authority to con condemn and judge me. And I say it has to be very satanic and luciferian to block somebody from receiving any help or even having the one ounce of joy in their life. Like, as I said before, everybody on Twitter was tripping over my freaking $10 steak dinner. The steak itself wasn't $10, but it was a whole doggone dinner with bread rolls and vegetables on the side. And I like to have the um sweet potato, the baked sweet potato at Texas Roadhouse Grill. And everybody's tripping over that. And I said, what's the difference between a $10 meal and a $10 salad? You know, and so, I mean, I got to eat and like, I don't have a right to eat. I don't have a right. Like, like, as if y'all act like, as if, as if I don't have a right, like, as if I have to be, if I deserve to be condemned for trying to survive <clears throat> and all these people who act like they glorify themselves as having more common sense than me and thinking they're more logical than me, you know, when they treat me like as if I'm the so dumb that I deserve to be just wiped off the face of this earth, like as if I have no right to exist because you think, you opinionate that I'm just a fucking dummy, you know? <clears throat> so I refuse to take advice from anybody, but people talk about how the black woman is the most oppressed and the most hated you know, on the face of this earth, the black, it seemed like the black American woman, you know, and then black men being narcissistic and controlling and sadistic. And, and you know, you think that woman's supposed to be just more, even more battered. And I saw this website that's, I don't, I'm not sure if their figures are correct, but try to say that over 90% of black men are narcissists. Well, it's like being brainwashed by the mainstream media with the hip hop and the gang gangster rap and the, what they portray in their music videos make you act like, and then you go and emulate that and then act like you think you're more amazing and better than everybody else. <clears throat> you know, everybody wanting to be a thug, you know, so, I mean, I have to be careful on who uh, whose advice I accept or suggestions and stuff. It can affect me spiritually and send me, damn my soul to hell for good, you know. <clears throat> Not that accepting wrong advice is um, all bad, but I, I take certain people's advice. Like, there was a targeted individual who told me, you know, he helped me out financially with some hotel. And, and then, you know, I was on the streets and after my sleeping bag got stolen, I said, you know, I'm not, since it got stolen, I'm not even going to worry about another one. And he said, go ahead and get you another sleeping bag. That way you can have some support and cushion while you lay down, you know. And I said, well, what's the point? You know, they're going to take that one too. But, you know, I got me another, actually two more sleeping bags with the financial money and help that I got, you know, I got two more. So I kept one in the uh, store and plus, plus look the times we're in. If <clears throat> I heard that certain, I heard that they're very quickly planning on putting the state of Florida, back, the whole state of Florida black, back on lockdown because they are trying to scare us, trying to make like coronavirus cases are rising and stuff like that. So, I mean, that's why I bought two. And they, they were $20 each at the Academy. At the um, Dick Sporting Goods is more expensive. And I tried to, like, take, a, take people's advice to avoid Walmart, you know. So, I don't ignore everybody's advice. I mean, I take some advice if I know, if I feel like it would be helpful to me, like, they had people who told me don't get food stamps and stop being stop depending on the government. They condemned me for that and called me a freeload. Talk, been hearing that for many years. Falsely accused of freeloading off the government. But you know, if y'all call me crazy and mentally unstable, 
And then I try to go to get a job and y'all have a problem with that too and say, you wonder why you can't get a job <clears throat> or you wonder why nobody wants to hire you. It's like all these people who are not about help and they're all about con just wanting coercive control, you know, and, you know, some people being like, well, come over here to Arizona. Nobody's being gang stalked over here. We are have our we're TIs with our own community and we're not being gang stalked or whatever. But I thought I heard that Arizona was one of the hot spots or also, like Arizona, California. Well, they say Florida too. But, you know, there's I guess wherever uh, high witchcraft activity is the high gang stalking activity, you know. Um, <clears throat> so it's like that Lonnie person trying to condemn me about being a Christian. Like, you want me to feel bad about being a Christian? Like, you want me to turn my soul away from Jesus? But then you call yourself as having more common sense than me? I mean, you want me to turn my soul away from Jesus, but then you telling me to fast and pray and then talk about I need to lose weight and stuff. And then you're trying to turn the legitimate targeted individual, just me. You're trying to, y'all two, you and the uh, other person and the t guy who calls himself Targeted Joe, trying to mock me. And y'all, there's all those more than one people, more than one person, I'm sorry. Y'all sound just like how Stars 15K sounds, yet yeah, y'all claim to be targeted individuals and then call me fake and trying to make it like I deserve to be discredited. If somebody wants to give me $200 or a few hundred dollars to stay in a hotel room and eat, you know, they have a right to do that and I have a right to accept that. But, you know, I said that I'm looking for something long term. Um, I'm looking for something long term. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> I've it's not my fault that when I try to get that pretty little cottage, and the landlord rejected me, and when I try to get a job at Sammy Barker's, and they rejected me, the job through the the job through Cool Works. It wasn't Cool Works themselves, but another job through there. Normally. Cool Works, they would have responded to me. Well, not Cool Works. I mean, the companies would have responded to me, but they never responded to me. I don't remember where it was, but you know, um, when I went to work at the Grand Canyon in Arizona, even um, they perp me extremely heavily at that Grand Canyon job, <clears throat> and then also even away from the Grand Canyon. Like, they cheated me out my money on the West Coast. They cheat you out your money, rip, like, rip you off and fuck you over really bad at Walmart, places like Walmart and fast food and stuff. Well, I, I so seldom eat at fast food much anymore. <clears throat> so that's why my meals are costing $10, because I don't eat fast food anymore, you know. But somebody said that a, a chicken dinner at Wendy's would cost eight fifty five, which is almost ten dollars, you know. So <clears throat> while I'm in this hotel right here, you know, I bought groceries, so I'm not eating out. <clears throat> you know, to to yes, this morning I had cereal for breakfast. I mean granola cereal for breakfast, and then, you know, for lunch, <clears throat> I'm eating leftover, my leftover shrimp and butternut squash soup that I made. You know, they had the dishes and everything provided. Why is it a crime for me to fight for my survival if y'all targeted? And then everybody on tripper, uh, Twitter was tripping over my, my little steak. And it's like, well, damn, like <clears throat> one person tried to make like as if you wouldn't have not one second of joy in your life. If you're a real targeted individual, yet you're saying that um, <clears throat> you're saying that that um, you know that gang stalking is that your experiences are, are an illusion. <clears throat> so I see why there's conflict and war in the targeted individual community because not not everybody's a sincere Christian, and so many and the ones who are. The ones who claim that they're Christian, 
there's very few real Christians who are targeted. <clears throat> and there are, a lot of them are the popular fakes and narcissistic who are not really targeted. And then the sincere ones who try to help me out, they, they try to brainwash them and turn them against the real ones against me. And guess what? That Lonnie Ellison person um tried to tell me, yeah, she's already had a reputation in the past for being a fake targeted individual and a perp. I never perped anybody. You know, I never gang stalked anybody. And then people like Textron Vice Handler admitted that he ruined my reputation as a targeted individual, a real targeted individual. So all these people making lies and slandering me and falsely accusing me of being a fake targeted individual and a gang stalking perp and a user and a scammer and all that, which is not true. And then they falsely accused me of living comfortably off of a luxury and comfortably off of everybody's money, which is not true. I'm not living in luxury. I try to find the cheapest ho you know, the cheapest hotel that I can afford, but something that doesn't have bed bugs or, you know, something horrible. <clears throat> you know, I try to find what I could that's decent, but as I said before, I hate living like this. I hate living day to day. Um, like me going a whole week with no, sh not being able to have a shower and being on the streets and my feet are dirty. I have proof of that. So, um, for y'all to be falsely accusing me of living comfortably and living off of, um, and just freeloading off of everybody in which I am, have been struggling and, Eight hundred dollars can't get you a, a living, and there is really no no how. I mean, I've explained to them black and blue in the face, but narcissistic abusers, their mind is set to believe what they want, and you can't explain shit to them. And I don't owe those devils a fucking thing, <clears throat> you know. So if some of y'all targeted individuals. Remember me from my previous channel before it got wrongfully terminated. And, I mean, y'all y'all remember me and y'all seen me on my journey. You know, some of y'all know me from before I even left New Orleans to come to Pensacola. And Alex got me in that predicament in Alabama. And plus, we're going through this COVID thing. I mean, he, he got me in that predicament that caused me to go to Alabama. And then I came back. And then everybody falsely accused me of being dishonest and lying. When it's like when I explain the truth and I explain everything, and then I show my proof. When I show my proof, y'all tell me everybody got a right to sue me, you know. So it's like everybody's doing nothing but just playing games, and it's everything's just fucking manip manipulative and psychologically and mentally stressing me out even worse. It's like y'all. Pretend to fake like y'all hear from me or like y'all want me to get help. But it's like y'all actions are showing showing that y'all want to try to drive me off the face of this earth. Like y'all trying to wipe me and trying to drive me off of the face of this earth. Like I'm not welcome in any, y'all trying, if you're a targeted individual with the same opinion as other narcissistic abusers and perps have about me. That I'm a, that I'm a pest everywhere I go. You know, now I'm, now I'm crazy. And so, I mean, the targeted Joe person saying, oh, well, everybody got to shut down the whole hotel room. I mean, everybody got to shut the whole, the whole hotel down because of you. And then that person said, oh, you, um, that person has a right to, they have a right to park wherever they want and stuff like that. Knowing damn well that, that, that those people were just gang stalkers and, um, so y'all real targeted and we, we targeted individuals need to stand up. Like some people said, we need to unite and fight against these fakes and these perps, the wheat and the chaff, you know, the wheat and the tares, you know? <clears throat> so you have no business calling yourself a Christian when you gang stalking and perping people, Lonnie Ellison and, um, that, um, <clears throat> also, that golden eye person who, yeah, I think it's the the, the person who calls himself DJ, but 
how the hell am I supposed to go all the way somewhere by somebody naming you DJ? You know, it's like, why the hell are you continuously watching somebody you hate so much? If you hate me, talk, like, just leave me alone. I don't bother you, you know? So, I mean, how the hell are y'all a whole targeted individual community? If You can't be targeted if you're going to make it like a whole community of people who view me as mentally unstable. Well, that sounds like a perp move. That does not sound like you're legitimately targeted. If people who are targeted and and then that targeted Joe person falsely accused me falsely accused me of being the stalker and the perp. <clears throat> when everybody's saying record your experience and document everything, and we're gonna take everything up to the FBI and the UN and everything and whatever. Um, we're going to take everything to the police department and we're going to get lawyers and get a class action lawsuit. Yeah, everybody's entitled to this lawsuit except me. I don't deserve a piece of anything. Some people say what, that we targeted individuals deserve reparations. You know? <clears throat> so, it's like earlier this morning after receiving all these attacks from people who never commented before except that Lonnie person. You know? I mean, if, if if I can get help with donation for a vehicle, but damn, that would be defeat the purpose if I'm constantly sleep deprived. Um, if people if people are keeping me sleep deprived and keeping me from being functional, and then condemn me from talking about me being mentally unstable and crazy, and you know just got problems, you know, <clears throat> so. They try, just like narcissistic abusers and everything, they act like they give up on me and try to make like there's no hope for me. And that, you know, it's like you drop, like a narcissistic abuser would do stuff like drive their victim to suicide. But then when that person attempts suicide, then you want to act like you, um, you want to try to save and rescue that person from trying to take themselves out, you know, but I'm, you, you're not going to succeed at um running trying to run me off the face of this earth so i'm gonna stay on this earth and make you more mad if you really want me eliminated <clears throat> you know so i don't give a fuck anymore fuck y'all and go fuck yourselves y'all are gang stalking perp narcissistic abusers who are reversing plant gaslighting and reversing everything on the actual victims and it's like I don't give a fuck about y'all fake cult of pop the cult of popular fake targeted individuals who falsely call, call yourselves one hundred forty four thousand and y'all not even being gang stalked and y'all don't even know have y'all not even struggling you know y'all not even struggling when I'm get, dealing with the gang stalking and electronic attacks and psychological attacks and physical <clears throat> you know so. And I'm still learning myself. If some people say I'm still in stage one or phase one. So I'm going to get the fuck off of here. And I'm going to just freaking go right now. Bye.